How's it going guys? In today's video we're going to be learning how we can implement a swipe down to refresh feature and we're going to be creating a random number app to demonstrate it. And as you can see right here we have 10 random numbers and when we scroll down we're going to get this indeterminate progress bar that shows us that it's making a request and it's going to process it and give us some new numbers. And usually you can insert an API request as something else that takes a bit more time, but it's just a way to update the content in a list. And it's quite nice because it's just very simple and very intuitive for the user to go up and down. And each time we do it, we will get 10 random new numbers and the highest number will be highlighted in green. So I'll just be showing you how we can implement this feature in Swift UI. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and open up Xcode, hold Shift Command plus N, and create a new project. We're going to click on app under the iOS section and click on next. Inside here, we want to go ahead and specify a name which we'll call random numbers app. And we're just going to be using Swift UI and Swift as the language. Then go ahead and click on next, specify a project location and click on create. And the first thing I like to do in all my projects is minimize the sidebars and also change it to an iPhone 13 plus minimize the screen to the right and click on resume. So now we have a working emulator that previews our app. So the first thing we should do after that is go ahead and create two state variables. Add state private var items, which is going to be of type integer and that's going to equal one initially. Then we will create another add state private var, which will be called random numbers. And we want this to be an array of integer and it's going to initially be set to an empty array. Now, each time the user opens the app or swipes down, we want it to generate 10 random numbers. So at the bottom, we're going to create the function for that. Function get random numbers. And first we need to start by making sure that the array has nothing in it. So we're going to set it to nothing initially for each time that we generate it so that we can append 10 random new numbers. So for i in 1, 2, 10, we're going to go ahead and let temporary random number, which will just be called random number, equal int dot random in the range of 0 to 100. Then we want to go ahead and type in random numbers dot append, and we want to append this random number. And finally, as a bonus, we're going to go ahead and call random numbers dot shuffle so we can get that extra randomness. So now we have the logic for the app. Now we just have to go ahead and insert the UI in the body. And I want to get started by creating a navigation view. And inside the navigation view, we're going to create a list. And the list is going to have a for each loop inside, which is going to take the random numbers as the items. And as the ID, we're going to do backslash dot self, which is just going to tell the program that we will use the number as the ID. Although we are lying to the program saying that each one is unique because some random numbers will be the same, which means the program will be confused. But for this example, it doesn't really matter. We're just generating numbers. We don't care where they are stored or in what location they are. So we're just going to use backslash dot self and then we will type in item in and I want the highest number to be highlighted in green. So to do that, we'll type in let caller and that's going to equal if item is equal to random numbers dot max number, we're going to set the caller to green. Else we will set the caller to black. And then we just have to create a text view inside here with the item. And this should be an interpolated string with a foreground caller of caller. I'll make it bold and give it some padding. Now, if we run the app, we're going to have an empty list and an empty app completely actually, because we've not added a navigation title and we've not given it any data to load yet. So on the list, we're going to go ahead and type in navigation title and insert random number. So at least we see something on the screen. Then we also will go ahead and type in on appear. So every time this list appears, we want to perform this function, which is get random numbers. Now we have the random numbers that are generated as soon as we run the app. 
But as you can see, we don't really have any scrollable effect when we scroll down. You can run the app and test it yourself. Nothing will happen. So we need to go ahead and implement a new feature. And this one is called dot refreshable. So it's actually that simple. As you could see, all we have to do is call dot refreshable on a list that we can scroll on. And inside here, we can insert the code we want to happen, such as get random numbers. So now every time we refresh the list, we're going to get 10 random new numbers just by calling dot refreshable. I know that was a big project for such a simple implementation, but it was worth it because next time you do this, you can insert some code with your API request and it's going to be just as simple as what we just did. But of course, let's go ahead and run the program as always to see how it actually works. So here we have the new running app. And when we go ahead and scroll down, you will notice some random numbers being generated. So now the user can decide, I don't like that. I want different random numbers. These random numbers also suck. So let's try again. And we're just going to continuously get random numbers just by swiping down to refresh. But otherwise, that's actually all I wanted to go over in this video. So as always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.